Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing another double page layout for Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 16. Today's sketch is by Bria, Brina Spores. Sorry, couldn't read it on the screen. Um, anyways, I'm using the same Amy Tangerine collection that I used yesterday. And again, these are more photos from the same pumpkin patch the same day. So I kind of want to use the same collection for those photos. Um, I probably will have to use a little bit of a different collection for some of them because I think I'm going to run out of papers. But I'm going to do as many as I can before I run out of papers. Anyways, here is a cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files that says Brothers Always, and that's going to be part of my title. And I just have a few scraps of that lovely green paper. I had quite a few of those papers too. <laughs> and... The stickers, again, for the title pieces, I don't use any of those except for the flowers. And then I use the alpha to complete the rest of my title. This yellow scrap, I get used up. This blue paper, I actually have two of, and I'm going to use it as my background. And then this cut apart sheet, I thought I was going to use more of it. I end up using just one of the papers, which is the top square, yellow square. Um, so here's my background. Here's the brothers always. I already have it matted in the green paper. You can see the green paper there to the right hand side. The rest of it does not go on this layout, but I will get it used eventually with the rest of the layouts. I'm definitely keeping all the scraps. So here I'm just inking up the edges. I used my deco edge scissors to cut that uh, yellow piece at the top. And I'm going to place one of the photos up there at the top. And then I'm going to place four other photos down at the bottom. So I brought in some doodlebug papers. Because with the bright colors of this Am Amy Tangerine collection. Sorry. Um, it matches with doodlebug. So I was like, okay. I got some of the farm collections still left. And I decided if I had what I needed, I was going to use it. So this wood grain paper here, um, I had just enough to cut it, um, I think it's like at an inch and a half, and I'm going to place it down at the bottom. And that is not in the sketch. Um, she shows scallops down at the bottom, but there's not another pattern paper. I just decided it needed a different pattern paper at the bottom. And the reason is, is because I'm going to kind of mimic what's in the photos. The photos have tires that are buried in dirt and that basically shows the kids where they're going to ride on these little tractors and it goes around like in a circle. And I thought the scallops that I cut out, which are a punch and it punches a circle with scallop edges on it, it kind of looks like the tires. So that's how I'm going to place them down is at the bottom, just like that in a straight row. And they're going to be facing um, the half part is going to be facing down instead of up. In the sketch, it's facing up. But, you know, it's inspiration. I took it from the sketch and did what I wanted to do with it to make it work for my layout. So here I'm going to cut the cut file because it is bigger than eight and a half. So it definitely has to go across both layouts in order to fit. Um, when I print, I printed this one, and sometimes if I print them, it's usually because I plan on doing a landscape layout or crossing it across the middle of a double page layout. So it is getting crossed across the double page layout today. And I'm just putting play foam on the back of it, or it's not play foam, it's uh, double sided tape foam. Either way, it's popping it up just slightly. This uh, foam is not very thick but it works perfect for letters or thinner place placement. Um, sorry, it's a little bit late and I'm tripping over my words. Anyways, here I'm going to lay the yellow paper down first and it's going to go just straight across. And then the brown paper is going to go at the bottom and it's going to overlap on the yellow, but I didn't want it to overlap that much. So I pull it back up and put it back down. That seems to be my story on every layout. Um, if I'm not moving something, I probably didn't create it because I always have to move it 
here I'm going to place the little scallops down and I'm just eyeballing it. Um, I wanted them placed pretty much, you know, evenly across the bottom, but I didn't measure it out or anything. I just placed them down and they just happened to fit five exactly across and they fit five exactly across on the other one. So yay me. Here I'm going to add the same thing on the opposite side. And pretty much that's going to be the end of the background part of it. And then the rest is just going to be stickers and other embellishments. And like I said, I'll bring in the Doodlebug uh, papers and stickers to create a little scene and add a little bit more to it. And on the sketch, she has mixed media um, in the background. It kind of looks like some kind of mixed media and tags popping out. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, I could have popped tags or something like that. I decide to tear paper instead. And you'll see here what I mean in just a few minutes um, after I get these photos placed down. And I am trying to get them to go straight across. I try to use my ruler, but um, it's better if I just eyeball it. I'm pretty good at eyeballing it, actually. I'm not very good at cutting a straight line with scissors, but I can eyeball stuff and tell if it's straight or not. So here you can see I just tore the white paper. And this white paper has chicken wire on it. And I'm going to place it down. And that's where I'm going to put um, basically some of the stickers. And since they're smaller, they need some place to be, basically. Um, I don't want them just to look like they're floating around on the layout. So this is the way I'm kind of grounding them. And this one here, I'm going to place up here at the top. I thought I was going to leave it exactly like that. Fairly large and place a pretty good sized scene up there. But it ends up changing here in a few minutes. And... Um, I knew what I wanted the rest of my title to be. My title was going to be Brothers Always Having Fun Together. And I knew if I left it a little bit too big, um, I probably wasn't going to be able to fit that title piece. So I'll move it here in a minute. But first I'm going to play. And I want to bring in this cute little barn from the sticker sheet. The sun. Um, definitely the tractor I want it to bring in. And then uh, I brought in some flowers also, but those flowers are not going to stay. Um, I did put them down and they didn't stick very well. So kind of questioning any stickers that I stick on the layout from here on out will probably get liquid glue. Because um, they were fairly easy to pull up without tearing the paper. So here I'm just adding play foam to the tractor, to the barn. And I believe that's it that'll get play foam. So here I just pop the little sun right off. And I'm going to cut this one because I don't want it that large after all. So I'm going to place the sun back up here. And I thought the tractor was going to stay up there. But you'll see here in a minute, I'm going to actually move it down. And... I'm not really sure why I did that. It just looked better to me um, to have the tractor down at the same level as the barn. But I still wanted the sun to be up at the top. And I thought the white chicken wire paper looked good at the top too. So I went ahead and left it. But you'll see I'll tear it here and again in a few minutes. Um, I'm bringing in the late afternoon flower clusters from that sticker sheet that I said I would bring in. And these are kind of like a foam, really thin foam. And I really wish American Crafts would use this type again because this is probably one of the better ones. And I went ahead and added my photo up there at the top by Brothers Always. I needed something to go in that space. And that's the only photo where they're facing the opposite direction. They were coming around the bend and I took their photo. So you can really kind of only see my older son my younger son's in the back of the tractor um but it was the best shot that i got from that angle so i went ahead and placed it um up there at the top the other four at the bottom they're just going the same direction 
and I just took their picture multiple times as they were coming around. And of course, my oldest son knows the drill. He was looking at me as he would come around the bend, but my younger one was very distracted by looking at everything else that was going on around the farm. So he was not looking in my direction, but it's okay. And here you can see I'm laying out having fun. I almost have it completely straight. Um, and again, that was just eyeballing it. But here I'm going to lay out together. And my paper does shift a little bit. So I'll have to pull those back up and replace them down here in a minute. But um, again, I was able to lift these ones off very easily too. And nothing seems to stick anymore. It's really weird. But anyways, I added the little chicken wire paper down at the bottom. I decided to add the flower cluster closer to the word together and then put the tractor down. And Brothers was crooked when I put it down. Um, now it's more straight, so I was able to lift that one up too. I'm tearing this chicken wire paper yet again and inking it up and it looks much better to me. So it will stay like that now that it's done. Um, I added a little green leaf over there by the photo at the top by Brothers Always. And then the little acrylic bats. And again, that's just to show it's Halloween, a pumpkin patch. There's multiple photos for this particular day at the pumpkin patch. So I don't believe each one needs journaling. If I do add journaling, I can add it to the left or the right of the layout. I would probably add it on the right hand side underneath um, the sun and I would do it in journaling strips if I decide to add it. But that's going to pretty much be it for this layout. I'll hold it up here in just a minute and show you a little bit of a close up view. And then there will be close up pictures at the end. Also be sure to check out the playlist for Christie's Beautiful Life. There's a lot of people playing along with all of these sketches and giving their take on how they used the sketches. And it's a lot of fun to see how other people created a layout using the same sketch. So I will see you again tomorrow with another sketch from Christie's Beautiful Life. Hope you guys enjoyed today's layout and I will see you then.